Hello, I am Super Orange Cat, and here I am with a quick review of the Season 23 Episode 4 entitled Let Them Eat Goo. In general, I thought this was another amazing episode from South Park, and I'm going to quickly go over some of the stuff I really loved about the episode in particular. I just love the whole concept of the whole take on the whole Impossible Whopper by Burger King, and just about the whole premise of people eat it not because it tastes good, but because they feel good about eating it, which I think is so accurate and so hilarious at the same time, to the point where Randy Marsh decides, hey, it doesn't matter how good the burger is, as long as I make it and say, hey, it's from plants, people are going to eat it. And also the whole side effect of it being marijuana, so they're going to get high eating it, which, let's be honest, was a major factor in it becoming a massive success like it did in the episode, which I thought was absolutely hysterical. And especially Randy Marsh's shirt he wore, it's like, it tastes bad, but tastes like shit, you won't care. I thought it was absolutely hysterical. And also, I really like the whole concept of the whole factory-made, plant-protein-based food. To display the hypocrisy of, if you're going to mass-produce these plant-based foods, the whole corporation, the whole process is going to start looking a whole lot like the process to make meat and the fact that really doesn't necessarily help the environment that much because most of the whole carbon dioxide, most of the greenhouse gases are exposed or expulged, I mean, in the factories instead of actually the actually the fact that they're eating the meat itself, which was an instant, interesting take on the whole increasing industry for plant-based foods. And also, I find it hilarious that this is actually the second episode in South Park history about the, where the A plot is about eating burgers, <laughs> with the first one being Ass Burgers way back in 2010, which I thought was another solid episode. But man, this episode I thought knocked it out of the park again. And also onto the Cartman plotline, I had more mixed feelings, honestly, about the Cartman plotline this week. I, I just love the whole concept of Cartman being so stressed out about the food, cafeteria food, that he has a heart attack and having twice. Him blanket ba blaming Wendy for it, which, who is a very common scapegoat for Cartman. If you walk, look back in the series, very often he blames Wendy for his own personal problems. And I thought it was interesting, another episode like that. <clears throat> and I just absolutely love the whole... I also, this was a weird, the one downside I really found of this episode is the fact that usually when Cartman is arguing for something, and Cartman is the only person arguing for a certain stance this time to keep the cafeteria food the same as it always has been. Usually when that happens, they make sure to plant him entirely in the wrong. Because usually when Cartman has an idea, it's usually not a very good one, as much of the show's history has shown. And also, but in this episode, Cartman kind of makes some points. Especially after his first heart attack. When Winnie just stands up and starts ranting to people about how unsustainable the cafeteria food is, and how, like, oh, our parents gave us a horrible world, we should be the ones to fix it, look. And you could say all about Cartman being stubborn, but at the same time, the last thing I want when I'm eating food, especially if it's food that I know is bad for you, is to have some person just stand up and start ranting about how I should feel bad for eating it. So honestly, I kind of don't blame Cartman in that situation. And I also love the whole ending of the whole Cartman wearing a hospital gown in school. And not just that, the fact that everyone is like on pins and needles when Cartman walks in to see if he falls for the whole plant-based goo food thing. And him like, and everyone's like, okay, now I can take a sigh of relief and act normally. I actually really like that too. I also find it interesting that with the man, mysterious man who's like, I'm a goo man, and that being his introducing line, to all these different people, how Cartman is the only one to call out the whole absurdity, like, what the fuck is a goo man? And everyone else just kind of rode with it. That's something I just really loved about that B plot, too. Although I think it's definitely weaker than the A plot. And again, I think if I had to pick one moment in this episode, I thought was the absolute best. It was when all the when the farmer paid off by the goo man had dropped off all the cows onto the Tegrity farm. And Randy and Tally getting stoned. 
to Pass the Duchy by Musical Youth, which, by the way, is an awesome song. And I actually listened to it earlier today, so I found it interesting it was in this episode because of that getting high and just killing all of them. And including, especially later on the show, at one point, Rampart Randy took his pants off and just shot the cow a long gun, a rifle. I don't know. It's just one of those absurd things that this show can pull off so well. And again, in general, to sum things up, I thought this was another amazing episode of South Park. This, after the first episode, which I thought was a dud this year, the show just come off with three straight amazing episodes, one after another. And really, if I had to make a top ten list of, like, the best episodes from, like, this decade, honestly, all three of these episodes would probably be on it. That's how on a roll South Park has been, I think, this season. I'm, I'm saying keep a tabs on the season, because I think when the show is long over and we look back at it, I think we might be looking at 20, season 23 as one of the best in the entire series. And that's something you can't really say about any show. And that's something to keep tabs on, I think, in the future. What do you guys think? What's your opinions on this episode of South Park? Leave your comments down below. If you like this, if you want more South Park review content like this, please like this video, please subscribe, and of course, hit that notification button. I'm Super Orange Cat, and that is all.